Hey everyone, welcome to this 2011 March, month of March channel update. Well, today I took care of a few things, and I'll get into that in a little bit. But the reason I'm doing this channel update, ladies and gentlemen, is real simple. It's real simple why I'm doing this. Now, right now, honestly, it is a very trying, it will be a very trying financial month for me. What I mean by that is the fact that, well, last month when I was helping my family out financially with bills and stuff, I OD'd, if you will, with my bank. Now, OD, when it comes to bank and financialness, is short for overdraft. Now you might say, well that's probably not too bad, Brian, and you still be okay. Not really. See, a lot of banks have certain limits that you can overdraft to, money-wise. Certain limits. Mine just happens to be half of two, I mean, mine just happens to be, well, let's just put it this way. Add 250 and 250 together and you'll get the idea. So yeah, mine's a $500 overdraft limit. So unfortunately, due to that, my overdraft was suspended. Now, this month, I did get some money and everything, but financially, it was kind of hard. You see, I had to take care of some bills and stuff for my family, which is no big deal. But next month is going to be the positive of all this. You see, next month, you see, the thing with my bank, and I'm pretty sure it's different with any bank you use. The thing with my bank is the fact that they give you a 60-day deal from the moment you overdraft to the moment to 60 days later. And after those 60 days, if you don't get close to overdrafting again or going over the limit of what you have in the bank positive-wise, then you'll be reinstated. Now, next month will be a better month for me. You see, one month you're down, the next month you bounce back. You see, next month will be a better month because I got a lot of things planned and financially the way things are going, I'll be able to accomplish a lot of these goals. One, me and my family, I will be able to help my family actually finally reduce one cable bill down to zip. That's right, down to Zero. That's right. That's it. Nothing more. It will be done. If you will. Now, besides that, the channel update that I'm trying to tell you about is, start, is that next month, if I don't do a channel update next month, it will be now. But the channel update I'm telling, but what I'm telling you now for next month one of the things I will be doing is a live reaction video, hopefully, without any interruption, a live reaction video of WrestleMania 27. That is true. WrestleMania 27, I will be doing a live reaction video just like I did last year. Now, also speaking of videos, today when I went out and took care of some of the financial bills and stuff for my family, I went out and I did some shopping as well because we needed a few items. Cat litter, creamer, um, you know, whatever. Just stuff we needed. Soda. I actually got myself a 24 pack of Dr. Pepper. But anyway, what I also did well, I went shopping after taking a few care of a few things. And this is part of my update as to how I make videos. I went into the store and I was expecting to buy an eight ninety nine twenty four pack of these right here. Now I don't know if you can see that very clearly, but these right here, these sunny select store brand Acolin batteries. 
or alkaline batteries. Now, alkaline batteries, I did a video on these, but these alkaline ba batteries are actually sort of like the second best batteries you can get for digital cameras and probably the more affordable kind. Because even though lithiums do a great job, sometimes they're a little bit expensive to buy, believe me. Even if you got a rechargeable pack and everything, the battery still cost. I mean, I looked online, if you got the rechargeable pack and everything, the batteries along with the charger, it's about 12 to 13 dollars, maybe 12 to 15. The batteries, if you want to buy some extra batteries though, just to make sure, because I guess maybe charging up the batteries that you get have a limit, they cost about maybe 8 to 10 dollars, or 6 to 8 to maybe 10 dollars. 10 at the most, as far as I know. Now you think to yourself, that's a little much. Well, that's just about the same. Well, that is a little cheaper, but it's almost in the same range you'd be looking at if you buy the lithium batteries, or the advanced lithium batteries. You know? The lithium batteries cost, for a two-pack, on average, regular, regular price is about six, seven dollars. A four-pack, on average, regular price is about ten dollars, maybe eleven at most, twelve at most. And then a eight pack, if you really want to have enough left over, costs you about maybe twenty to twenty two dollars. Well, these Sunny Select ones or the store brands, whichever store has their own version of these, cost less than that. They actually cost about on average an eight the, the, on average a twenty four pack of these store brand batteries, Sunny Select, whatever, Safeway, Save Mart, Walgreens, whatever you, whichever one you use. Dollar Store maybe, because they even are pretty, because they're even pretty good. These on average, and a 24 pack, are $8.99. So basically you're looking at almost, for the price you'd be paying close, for the price you'd almost be paying for a four pack of, let's say, Energizer or Duracell lithium batteries, for $8.99, you get 24 of these babies. Now, that's close to a four-pack, or even a two-pack, actually. A two-pack costs just as much, almost, maybe a, a dollar and a half less than what these do in a 24-pack. Now, a four-pack of lithium batteries, like I said, cost around the average of 10 maybe $12. What would you say if you could buy batteries, buy these batteries, these kind of batteries, store brand batteries, at the same price, but get double of what you get out of a 24 pack, what would you say to that? You'd be you'd be going for that, wouldn't you? Well, that's exactly what happened today. You see, my original plan was to get a 24 pack of these Sunny Select alkaline batteries, two I'm using right now in this camera, and then get a four pack of the Energizer lithiums so that I'll have the lithiums as a backup or for later on. But when I walked into the store today to take care of stuff and to buy, to buy the stuff we need as well as these batteries, I looked over at the customer service counter where they have some of these batteries. Now, I'm used to, but well, here's the thing, I'm used to going to like this little display stand, this little display stand uh, for the camera stuff, for all the camera stuff. That's what I'm used to going to. It has the camera film, batteries, and everything. But they also have it over at the customer service down at the bottom, like right about here. So, I go over there and I look, and I look on the side. I look down and I pick it up and for ten ninety nine there's forty there's a forty eight pack. That's right. A forty eight pack of these. So what do you think I went with? Exactly. I paid uh, overall almost twelve dollars for forty eight of these suckers. Now what's the better bargaining price? That, of course. Now, what does that have to do with my channel update? Well, that's what I'm going to get to. You 
see this? This is my camcorder. Now, originally, I did this video, this channel update video, on here already. But I figured, you know, I got 48 batteries, 46 now and waiting. Why not just go with those and save this for emergencies? But anyway, the reason I'm mentioning this right now is just in case, I don't think it's going to happen, but just in case I go through all these 40, all 46 batteries before this month is out, which I don't think I will, but just in case I do, I have this on standby. You see, what I do is I use this camcorder to record my videos. That's what I've been doing lately, uh, recently. I've been using this to record my videos. Then what I do is I take the AV plug, the audio video uh, adapt, uh, attach uh, plug or wire, and I plug it into here, and I've been recording them. I plug it into here, and I've been recording them to my DVD recorder. Now, you might say, well, that seems like a waste of DVD recordable disc. Well, on average, it is. Yes, it is. That's why I wanted to get batteries. But you see, that's where my original plan was supposed to be, folks. I was going to get the 24-pack of Sunny Selects, the 4-pack of the Lithiums, and use this in between. Now, I might still do that so that I don't waste so many and that the batteries don't die so quickly. But anyway, that's part of the channel update there, to let you know if you see a difference in film quality, it's due to the fact that I'm either using this or I'm using what I'm using now. So, you're probably also wondering where my review is for Sonic the Hedgehog 222. It will be coming, folks. It will be coming. Because I got in contact with Archie Comics. And I had to explain to them that I did not get my free 13th issue. So I had to ask them if I, ever, if I would ever get it. And they responded by asking me what was the last issue I received. Because I also had to tell them that I did not get no notification. Now what I mean by notification is the fact that usually in the mail they send you an envelope with a brochure or an order form to renew your subscription. Well, I have not received that yet. Nor have I received my th free 13th issue. Now, what does this all mean? Well, honestly, what it means is that when I emailed Archie Comics and I asked the people there if I was ever going to get the 13th issue, and by them responding, saying, asking me what my uh, last issue was, because on, well, because uh, the directions are when you email these people or even talk to them, you got to give them your street address, your name, your street address, your phone number, your email, the whole works. So basically, they have all that information. They asked me what the last issue was. Then they responded back by saying, of course, by saying, oh, we're sorry for the inconvenience. We will send that 13th issue out, but also let you know your subscription has ended recently. So what did I do this morning? This morning, Hopefully it went through. I checked my bank account. It looks like it did. I ordered. I renewed. Hopefully, because hopefully it went through. Because it looks like it looks like it did. I renewed my subscription to Sonic the Hedgehog for another year. But unfortunately, unfortunately, from what I've seen, it's not going to be a 13th issue free. It's just going to be 12 months. Now, I don't know what issues this is going to start on. I don't know if it's going to start with 22, which means 22, 22, 223, 224, 225, 226, 227, 228, 229, 230, 231, 232, 233. I don't know if it's going to mean that I've got to go up to 233 or even to 232. Uh, yeah, 233. I don't know if it means that. I don't know if it means I'm going to go to 234. We don't know. Well, I don't know anyway. But I have renewed my subscription. And again, as far as my review goes, it will come as well as my review for Chippendale's Whiskey Rangers number 4, which I recently read online. That's right. Somebody posted um, at one of these websites, Cats Forum or something like that, at the Cats Forum or something like that. I can't think of it right now. But it's one of these uh, message boards out there 
one of these message boards out there that allows you to that has uh, some topic sections where you could post you know the current weeks like this week's or even next week's or whatever comic book releases so I looked on there and I found Chip and Dale Risk Rangers just number four so I downloaded it read it and it's pretty good I am though going to get the comic as well so there you go on that and I also tried and speaking of you know these uh, CBR files that's what they're called CBR files uh, where the comic itself is uploaded I'm just curious if anybody has 222 uploaded somewhere I'm, I'm just curious if 222 of Scientific I'm just curious because I am going to get the issue but honestly I want to see what it looks like so I can at least do a review and get it over with so if anybody has this issue and you know where it's probably uploaded at let me know let me know so I can at least download it read it and give a review but you know knowing my luck I'll probably end up doing that and that's when I'll get my issue <laughs> but anyway that's what's going on and like I said in a month's time hopefully I'll be doing without any interruption my live reactions to WrestleMania 27. So that's my channel update for March 2011. Tell me what you think below. Talk to you all later.